hello everybody good day and you're welcome back to my channel i hope you all have been fine and i'm sorry i've not been uploading content is because i've been very busy all right today we'll be um cutting a shirt a shirt a v-neck shirt and there will be slits at the side all right um my cloth is already on the fold my material is already on the fold of four so i'll be cutting the back and the front together so the length of the dress will be 29 plus one inch allowance that is 30 all right when you are folding make sure your biggest measurement that's the um, bust make sure the dress is up to the measurement divided by four i'll be adding 33 inch allowance because i want the dress to be free a bit so you just go in and then um, take your measurements all right um the shoulder is 18 divided by two we are having nine so you just go ahead and measure the nine and um use your chalk to you know take the measurements like draft it out all right um after um taking your shoulder measurements which is for the dress is 18 divided by two that is nine so you just mark it and put in the measurements there all right then then um, for the arm o i'll be using the length of the arm i'll be using is nine i'll be using nine for this arm or you can use less than that you can use eight you can use seven it depends on the person you are actually sewing for or you are cutting the cloth for so the person i'm cutting for i'll be using nine for the cloth so i'll just use the nine to run across the dress then i'll use my rule to connect use your root connect all right just connect it with your rule and i'm sorry if you cannot see the blue chalk i'm actually using a blue chalk for this and it's not showing so just follow up and you get everything correctly just follow up and you get it correctly so i'm just using my chalk to you know try if it will show so now what you have to do is to look for the midpoint between that nine and that has 4.5 so you just put that 4.5 there then where the two lines meet you go up by 1.5 inch you can go up by two you can go up by one so from that 4.5 you just connect it to that 1.5 that you already brought up so you just give it that curve that arm o curve you can go up by 1.5 depending on you but you have to look for the midpoint which is 4.5 so what i'm doing now i'm actually connecting it to that 1.5 that i went up with just connect it give it that curve give it that curve if you are not good with curving you can actually use a french curve to do it but if you can use your hand to do it you can do it so what i'm doing now i'm taking out my measurements the under bust is 12 for this dress the under bust is 12 and the, the half length is 18. The half length is 18 for the dress. So now I'll just go ahead and cut the neck. I'll go ahead and cut for the neck. So for the neck, the width I'll be using 4. You can use 3. It depends on you. But I'll be using 4 for the width of this neck. And like I said earlier, to be a V neck. To be a V shaped neck. So I'll just, for the width, I'll be using 4.5. Sorry, I'll be using four. <laughs> Sorry, I'll be using four. All right, and um, for the shoulder, you know the shoulder is actually slanty. So you just go down by one or 1 1.5 and you connect it from the four points already marked for the neck. You just go down and allow it to meet the shoulder. All right, for the um depth, that's for the depth of um, the neck, I'll be using six. I'll be using six so i'm using six for the depth so i'll just connect it from that four i already took for the width then i'll connect it to to um to that um depth i'll connect the depth and the width together then you use your ruler from where the four i already took for the width i'll connect it to that depth i'll just use my rule to connect it so that will give us the v neck then from the um neck to the shoulder you know i said we should go down by 1.5 so use your ruler to connect it you are coming down with that 1.5 from where your arm or where you took your shoulder measurements that is the um nine so you come down by 1.5 inch there all right um yeah 
it's actually easy to do something like this you just you know follow um instructions just follow the instructions so now i'll be taking them um, the bust measurement the bust i'll be using for this dress is 38 and 38 divided by 4 we're having 9 and half remember i said we'll be adding 3 3 inch so that will be 12 and half so you just go ahead and mark your 12 and half that's under your arm or you go ahead and mark your 12 and half and the under bust is 33 33 divided by 4 we're having 8 and ash 8 and ash, we're having 8 and ash plus that 3 inch allowance will be having 11 and ash. You just go ahead and mark that 11 and ash. Then um, the half length is also 33, that's um, the 8 and ash also. 8 and ash plus 3, that's 11 and ash. So go ahead so, and do that. It's just easy. The shirt is a very, it's just plain, but it's very, very fine. It's a plain shirt, but it's very, very fine. Then for the edge of the dress i'll be giving it that curve by the side there will be slit i'll be giving it that curve for by the side there will be a slit at the two side so now you just you know connect from your bust to your under bust to the half length and also to the edge of the dress the ending of the top you just connect it connect it like that give it that curve when you are Come for when you're coming from um, the bus to the under bus, just give it that curve. Then to give it that curve at the ending of the shirt, you go up by two inch. You can go up by three inches, it all depends on you. You can go up by one, you can go up by four, it depends on you. But me, I'll be going up by two inch. So from um, the side where the dress is folded, you just connect it to that two. You get connected to the two. Just connect it, and when you are connecting it, give it that curve. That curve. Mine will not be too curvy, so it's just be like that. But you can actually, if you want to make it curvy, you go higher. Instead of using two like I did, you can use three. You can use four. So mine, I'll be using two. So you just give it that curve. Just give it that curve. I'm actually going again to see if you can see the blue chalk. And I'm very sorry, I used blue. I did not know it was not going to show at all. So we we'll just go ahead and cut, go ahead and cut the dress. All right, I'm done cutting. I'm done cutting. I'm done. You can see how the dress looks like. That is for the back. For the back, you can use the same four for the width, and um, for the depth, you can use one and half. Or you can use one but mine i used one and half so you can see how the front is looking like you can see the v-neck and if you see the sides of the dress you see it's a bit curvy it's not too straight it's a bit curvy it's not too straight it's a bit curvy for the um, depth of the neck you can actually go um you know deeper instead of using um six like i did you can use eight you can use seven depending on who you are cutting for all right that is it that is it the back is curvy not like the front so i'm done cutting for the shirts i'm done cutting for the shirts all right um i will go ahead to cut the hand the hand for the dress i have noticed for, for my other tutorials i've not been um, you know showing how to cut and you have to cut a basic sleeve, I have to cut a sleeve. So in this video, I'll be showing us how to cut a sleeve. So you just, you know, go ahead and fold your dress or fold your material rather. <laughs> you go ahead and fold your material into four. Go ahead and fold your material into four. And um, from that edge, you can see you just give it that curve like you are coming down. Give it that curve like you're coming down. You know, a sleeve is not straight. Just give it that curve like you're coming down. Then um, for the round arm, the round arm, you just take the measurement. The round arm of this person is 13 divided by 2. That is 6 and a half. So I'll be adding like maybe 4 inch allowance because it will be a bit free. That's, um, that's 10 and half. I'll be adding 4 inch allowance. That's 10 and a half. So you just mark it there and connect it to... Where I already curved before and just you know go ahead and cut it's actually easy to cut a basic sleeve just for you to you know follow direction and use your instinct also 
so just go ahead and cut the sleeve you can see the curve you can see the curve it's not actually straight you can see how it is like you are coming down and giving it that curve then you just go ahead and notch the middle so now when you are attaching it to the dress it will not be hard for you to look for the middle you get so that everything will just be in place so the length of the sleeve is 10 so you can add two inch allowance making it 12 so that um you can use for folding and attaching it to the dress so i'm done with the shirt and um the sleeve all right um thank you for watching this video if you actually enjoyed watching and it was helpful don't forget to subscribe leave a comment and share also like don't forget to like it also don't forget to like and i'll see you all in my next video if you have any question don't forget to drop it on the comment section and i'll see you all in my next video all right stay safe and take care bye <laughs>